Hello, and welcome to the Features in 5 integration series. My name is Gary Hayes, and I am a senior solutions architect at JAMA Software. Today, we will be walking through the Cameo Systems Modeler integration for JAMA Connect. We make it possible for you to integrate JAMA Connect with preferred best-of-breed software to achieve live traceability across the end-to-end -end development cycle. Live requirements traceability is the ability for any engineer at any time to see the most up-to-date and complete upstream and downstream information for any requirement, no matter the stage of systems development or how many siloed tools and teams it spans. This enables significant productivity and quality improvements, dramatically reduces the risk of product delays, cost overruns, defects, rework, and recalls, and ultimately results in faster time to market. Let's start off today by looking at our two environments that we'll be working with, JAMA Connect and Cameo Systems Modeler. In JAMA Connect, in our project here, we have a folder called Swarming, along with five requirements we've identified that we want to be using. If we look over in Cameo System Modeler, you notice that we have the same folder, but we only have four requirements listed there. We can easily do a comparison of the items that exist in both environments, the four that you see here. We go into our plugin that we're using, identify the SysML repository, and we drill down on that folder that contains those requirements, and we can do a comparison between the source and the target. The plugin will do the comparison for us. We don't have to drill down and do a close examination. And when we get our results, we see that everything is green, indicating to us that the items in the folders that have been synchronized indeed match at this point. We can close this out for the time being, but you'll keep in mind that we only have four requirements in Cameo, but we have a fifth one that does not exist currently in Cameo that is in Java. So we want to make sure that both environments do indeed match, and we can do that easily by dragging and dropping using that same plugin. We go back into our dashboard. We find our SysML repository and we find our JAMA project that we're working with. Drill down on that to find those requirements that currently are being synchronized between the two environments. We can easily see that we have the swarming folder along with its five requirements from JAMA Connect and four from our Cameo environment, and to match those up, we want to drag and drop this into our Cameo environment. And you'll notice over here as it brings that over, you can notice in the background the Cameo environment updates automatically to reflect the fact that we've brought a new requirement into the Cameo environment. We can further confirm that by doing a synchronization check, do that comparison once again. At the folder level, compare our source and target, and hopefully we'll get all green one more time to show that the environments do indeed match up. But we don't always have the luxury of dragging and dropping and never making any changes in any environment. So what we'll want to do is make a change in one environment and push that from one side to the other. So let's go into this individual requirement, broadcast to swarm, and it's annotated that it is indeed from JAMA Connect. So we're gonna remove that annotation in its title. We'll go ahead and save that in our JAMA environment. You'll notice that's updated. And now we wanna be able to show that same type of update. We'll do a comparison first to see where we're at because we never know when changes will occur. We can do our compare. Make sure that comparison actually works and flags us for a change. And indeed we do. It comes up as pink or red, depending on your monitor, and flags us that there has been a, there's a discrepancy between the two environments. And you'll notice too that it does the comparison. It doesn't automatically make the change. And you can see that in the background that in our Cameo environment, that change has not rolled over from JAMA to Cameo. So let's make that change uh, permanent now. Let's go ahead and do that push. We can push from our target to our source. Keep your eyes on the Cameo environment in the background. As we make that change and it gets pushed over, you'll notice that the 
name or the description of the uh, requirement in Cameo indeed has changed. And so that has been updated automatically for us. We can do one last check with our compare tool, comparing source and target. So we get all green just for one additional factor of confidence that we get there. And you can see it there. So that's one way to keep your Cameo and JAMA environments in sync using a plugin. Thank you for watching this Features in 5 session on the Cameo Systems Modeler integration for JAMA Connect. If you're an existing customer and want to learn more, please reach out to your customer success manager or consultant. If you're not yet a client, please visit our website at jamasoftware.com to learn more about the platform and how we can help optimize your development process.